There is something new popping up in northeast Minneapolis. There are small signs that tell a story, and that's a story about Minnesotans who have died at the hands of police. They were created by a local artist to stir up some conversation. And Fox 9's Sarah Danik shows us how they are connecting people to these events. It's a sign that may look simple, but there's much more to the message. I think that that's the big part of it is saying their name, you know, and realizing that they were whole people and not just um, a story. You know, they were people that lived here. In total, three signs around northeast Minneapolis with the names of three people killed by police officers in the Twin Cities. And all three had a connection to this part of town. George Floyd, who worked at Conga Latin Bistro on Hennepin Avenue. Dante Wright, who went to Edison High School less than two miles away. And Terrence Franklin, shot and killed by Minneapolis police in 2013. The 22-year-old lived across the street from Witt Siasoko and his family. Also in northeast Minneapolis. When Terrence passed eight years ago, um, I didn't do anything. I was kind of paralyzed by the moment and didn't know what to do. And there's a, a lot of regret that I have with that because that's somebody I had a personal connection to. The project is part healing for the community based artist and his wife, who was also Terrence's teacher at Edison High School, and part call for police reform. All the names, you know, that are listed in this project or this these signs like were tragically lost by the hands of the police and like eight years later after losing Terrence we haven't seen that much change. Witt hopes the messages on the signs. George Floyd worked here. Dante Wright went to school here and Terrence Franklin lived here are reminders. These were real people with real lives and real loved ones and more than just names and headlines. These people like lived and worked here and went to school here and you know their lives mattered and I hope hopefully people say their names and remember them as individuals not just as a person that died by the hand of the cops. In Minneapolis, Sarah Danik, Fox 9.